So when I hold an object in my hand, it has a particular weight. And when I flip this object around, the weight balance changes. It doesn't feel like a motor skill per se, but actually a huge part of our brain is enabling this type of movement. The underlying neural dynamics that give rise to this is still a big mystery. And so in our research program, we effectively take a two-prong approach. One of them is to record from animals while they're actually doing skills like this. And the other approach is to build artificial intelligence software to help us uncover the hidden dynamics of the brain. So in particular, I'll start with the software. There's two that we've made in recent years that have been widely adapted by the community. One is called Deep Lab Cut, which allows us to effectively track um, markers on animals, including humans, so it can be used also in clinical applications. And what that allows you to do is effectively digitize data. The other component then is while we record from the brain, we actually want to understand what are these neural signals. So even in a tiny mouse, which has 70 million neurons in its brain, we can only record from a small fraction of these at any one time. And so the problem becomes that if you only have a small sample, it's like reading a paragraph and imagine you could only see a few words at a time. How do you put it together to get the story? And so you have to record from essentially uh, many different animals and we have to put this data into models. And so we developed a package which we call Zebra, which allows people to not only take neural data, but also this behavioral tracking that I mentioned and actually ask questions about the brain for doing this. The last bit is essentially teaching mice to play video games. So one thing that we do in the laboratory is that we actually want to understand these skilled movements. Like what we can do is build relatively mouse-like games for them, think Mario Kart for mice, and then watch how they adapt and navigate in virtual reality in these worlds. And while they're doing that, we can make recordings from their brain and then also track the behavior and try to put this all together to effectively uncover new algorithms that we can then imbue back into artificial intelligence, but also give us fundamental insight into how the brain works.